Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Clean the, fight, though, please, boys. Clean fight. The bell sound effects brought to you by... No, I can't say <laughs> that. Um, right, through turn three, back out onto the Parabolica. This is where Glock flicks the DRS. Now, the window opens, the wing opens, I should say. This gives a, a real advantage to uh, Timo Glock. But I'll tell you what, I don't think he's close enough. But he will get DRS off the back of the hairpin, won't he? And here he comes again. He's going to go to the outside. Oh, there oh, is contact touching. between the two of them this time. And Gary now. Glock with the uh, inside. He needs to keep his foot in because this is the outside, actually, of this turn. But it becomes the inside for the next one. So Glock, presumably, as he runs Gary right out to the curbs. And that's to be expected, this fight between the two of them. It's extraordinary. Look at this. A little touch between the two of them. The back end of uh, Glock's car just... Uh, flitting out there. Epic. Absolutely oh, epic. Brilliant. I can hear the crowd inside. They are loving this fight at the front. Whilst this is all going on, who is um, lurking in P3, and one should not forget Joel Erickson is lurking in P4. And look at how many um, DRS usages yeah, Deresta has got. Yes, I still think that uh, Paul Deresta may yet have the last laugh. We will see. But for now, Glock has put himself ahead of Gary Paffett. What Glock needs to try and do now is to pull himself out of the DRS window. Or pull, put himself into a position. Oh, let's see this again. <laughs> look at them. I mean, awesome. it could not be closer, could it? Oh, and look at the crowd. You're absolutely right. They're loving it, aren't they?